All right, before we get started with the, today's episode, I'm making a little edit here because someone was good enough to, someone, two people were good enough to make comments on some errors I made, which I always welcome. You know, I like doing this, I like sharing this, but I also like, you know, to be beneficial if you're going to spend your time watching this stuff, that I get, that we get the rules right so you're not, uh, you know, people aren't confused. So yes, all corrections are welcome. And, you know, you know, you learn by, you learn by falling. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It'll inculcate the rules. So the first one was that I, oh, well, that was just a, a error on my part is, um, apparently I debated, um, uh, I, I did a debate with Stalin and then when I ro rolled around to his turn, he should have passed. That's what the bot directs you to do. Every time you do a debate, the next turn, you're going to pass it each time. Uh, I mean, it's still a legal move. You're allowed to, like, just keep debating and debating. If you want, you're going to run out of cards. But basically, it came down to, I forgot to put down this pass marker. And that just goes to show you, when you're doing solo stuff, especially when you're um, trying to do it with, um, uh, you know, trying to film it <laughs> and things like that. And you're just juggling rules, and you're juggling a camera, and you're juggling saying something, trying to be interesting you're going to miss stuff. So always, you know, take the extra step to put the little mnemonic devices down so that you, you know, don't screw up. Okay, so the other issue was, and I totally jones on this, I don't know if I didn't even know it, that uh, every time the A-bomb issue is won by anybody, there's always a die roll for advancement for the U.S. And so we can go ahead and do that there now, and a four to six advances it. It does, and, and um... Well, because Stalin won it, he would have gone from here to here. And the other issue is whenever... Oh, two uh, other issue is um, whenever a head of state advances an issue, only another head of state can debate him. Okay, so uh, I was thinking... I didn't actually do that, but I was thinking about doing that, and someone pointed that out when I was going over it in my head. And the final issue is that when Stalin debates or advances the... Um, oh, wait a minute, let me see here. Yeah, when Stalin advances the A-bomb issue, no one can debate him. He's, he's, uh, it's an auto win for him. Okay, so, that is everything that, uh, and thanks for those corrections. And now we will get on with the episode. All right, Churchill, turn three, war phase. <laughs> I don't feel like setting it up. All right. So, oh, that cat. I'm going to thump her. So the clandin, clandin, clandestine segment is going to be boring because everyone just gets one. Nobody has a clear advantage. Uh, I break all ties, so I'm going to say I'll go last. And so, that means the UK will go first and place his, uh, what's it called? Paul Mill. Okay. That's a free one, and which is going to be Belgium, which is occupied by me, so he's going to cancel me out. Why I oughta. Okay, Soviets go next. Uh, three, three one as well. Okay, okay. So the Soviets move in. <laughs> what do I want to do with my guy? I want to chip away at his France. He'll lose one. Mm. I think I will. I think I'm going to chip away at uh, his advantage in France. Let's see what we can do there. Almost always one German army will be opposing in the Eastern Front. Okay, yeah. now we're in the reserve placement feature. Uh, at the Atlantic Wall, we've already done that. That eliminated a German Navy. And I like the, it's interesting here, Operation Bolero, which is to bring all the uh, UK U.S. forces into uh, England. That eliminates a German Navy Reserve. And what's that effectively saying? That in '43, <laughs> basically the the uh, the um, German Navy is almost meaningless at this point, except for well, it's up in Murmansk trying to interdict stuff for the uh, Eastern Front. But yeah, it's basically dead otherwise. And, uh, sorry, Atlantic Chase fans. <laughs> okay. Now we have what's called the Eastern Horde, and once again, four German reserves are going in here, and that is gonna 
turn that into a die roll. And that front may not advance yet again. Then there's Atlantic Wall, which puts one here even though there's no threat. Oh, wait a minute. No, there's no threat. You have to have the uh, issue. And the Italian army is still a threat. And there he goes there. Mm -hmm. Over in the Pacific here, we got an interesting situation in that... Um, I don't know why I kept the camera over here when we're doing all this, so sorry about that. Um, two were always going to go here when he moved here, so that's something to keep in mind. That's going to tie up two uh, Japanese reserves for quite a while. That uh, really helps the United States. I don't think the U.S. the uh, Soviets meant to do that, but that's okay. And now the Japanese will place a navy if they roll a one or a two, I believe. Yes, one or two. They do, they roll a two. Oh man. Uh, there's a choice. No, wait a minute. So this one is gonna come here and that stinks because that is gonna reduce my navy by two. That means that front is not gonna be able to advance. Ugh. Stymied. So we got two instead of three here. However, if I roll one to four, that's gonna eliminate a navy. Four. Is that am I reading that correct? Yes, one to four. Japanese reserve is eliminated. This is removed from the game. He still has one more, which will give us trouble. And we have two uh, armies left to place, and these are placed randomly. Uh, get over here. There we go. Now we can see the whole theater, can't we? Okay. She can't see the die roll. Okay, first one. Two. Puts it here. We don't care, because that one's not going to go anyway. And one. Both of them are going to be the okay. So that's going to keep our, uh, our uh, where we actually have a chance clear. Okay. <laughs> Let us begin in Europe with the advancements of the fronts. I can tell you that we haven't done the second front yet, so that is not going to move. Let's do the Mediterranean here. See what we got. Okay, so that's uh, that army is going to reduce this to five, but that is still very strong. Yeah. So when you add the base value of this front at two, and then you uh, multiply five times two, you have ten for a total of twelve front strength. That means that we're automatically going to advance. And what's more, if I can roll an eight or higher. That will double it. That will uh, break through. We'll get a breakthrough. All right. Looking for a big roll here. No. Nope. But we have come into southern Italy, which means Italian surrender. And now the Italian reserve is out of the game. And this, of course, leaves. Eastern Front, which I believe is going to be a die roll because there's five of these, so I need to remove five offensive support from this pile here. One, two, three, four, five, leaving two. Okay. That means with a base strength of two, and uh, then times uh, four, so that's going to be a base of six. So we need to roll a six or less to advance this front. This is a big roll, I think. Nine, oh boy. <laughs> the Germans hold. I don't need it. Wow. Yep, yep, I'm looking for that second front, aren't we? All right, so that concludes Europe. Now we move to the Pacific, the Pacific. Okay, we know nothing's gonna happen there because we have not declared war. Uh, Russians have not declared war on Japan. Uh, the CBI could technically move if it rolls a two or less. A uh, ten, no. Is that a zero or a ten? Yeah, yeah, no, it's a ten. Okay. Uh, so nothing happens there. Nothing happens here because uh, we don't have the amphibious support for it. So we're stymied over there. And then the only thing left is 
southwest Pacific. And in this case, we have no opposition. We have plenty of naval support. We have a front strength of two plus three. Uh, wait a minute, uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait a minute, is that correct? Yes, an eight or less on this die roll. Four. And so, yes, we're marching along here with Papi Nuguini. So, that is the war phase for turn three, conference three, whatever you want to call it. We're getting some movement here. Well, I'm just astonished at the, at the level, at the uh, resistance that the Germans are putting up in the Eastern Front. Uh, it's time to get that second front open here. Italy's looking nice. Uh, that's gonna collapse soon, I think. And that is it. And so next time we will start Conference 4. So thanks for watching.